Hello dear people, welcome back. This question is from GIT exam of 2012 and it was also repeated as it is in ISRO exam of 2017. Anyways, let's read the statement then I'm going to explain it. Question says, an internet service provider has the following chunk of CIDR based IP addresses available with it. 245.248.128.0 slash 20. The ISP wants to give half of this chunk of addresses to organization A, a quarter to organization B, while retaining the remaining with itself. Which of the following is valid allocation of addresses to A and B? Okay. So suppose these are all the IP addresses that are available with the ISP currently. We need to give half of these addresses to organization A. So step one is we will create two subnets, this one and that one. Okay. One subnet can be assigned to organization A. The remaining IP addresses will again be divided into two parts. Okay. For this subnet, we are going to further subnet it. Okay. Into two smaller parts. One of them can be given to B and other part ISP can keep for itself. Okay. They are saying that uh, B must get quarter of IP addresses. So B is getting one fourth and the remaining ISP is keeping for itself. Now see, step one was we will divide the original network into two subnets that can be done by fixing one bit. Okay. Suppose the value of that bit for A is zero. Okay. For this network, the value of that bit can be zero. And for that network, the value of that bit can be one. Now, if that bit is zero, we are saying that we are talking about the subnet of organization A. If that bit is one, we are talking about either this network or this one. Okay. That means we are talking about that half. Now to distinguish between this part or this part, we need one more bit. Okay. So if the value of that bit is one, we will also analyze next bit. If next bit is zero, suppose we are talking about this one. And if next bit is one, then maybe we are talking about this part. Okay. See, let me explain you. Before that, let us find how many total IP addresses are there in this block? Okay. This is the block or chunk that ISP has. Slash 20 means first 20 bits are in network ID. Okay. So if you start from here, first octet means 8 bits, first two octets means 16 bits. Okay. So till here, these are 16 bits. Now to make 20, you need four more bits. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay. Like this. So these are the first 20 bits. I've just converted 128 into binary as well as 0 into binary 8 bits. So this part is network ID and is of 20 bits. The remaining 12 bits, they are host ID. Now 12 bits host ID means you have two raised to the power 12 IP addresses in this block because you can just keep on changing the values of these bits and you will get 2 raised to the power 12 combination. So total addresses in this block is 2 raised to the power 12. That means these are 2 raised to the power 12. Now what we are going to do is we are going to fix one bit. That is we can fix this bit to divide the entire network or entire block into two parts. Each of the part will be of 2 raised to the power 11 IPs. Okay. Because see, one bit is fixed. We have borrowed one bit from host ID part. So obviously 11 bits will be remaining and each part will have 2 raised to the power 11 IP addresses only. Then this one can be assigned to A. This one will again be divided by fixing one more bit. So you will be left with 2 raised to the power 10 IP addresses only. Just assign one of them to B and other one ISP can keep for itself. Okay. Like this. Now let us just find what will be the address of this subnet, this subnet and this subnet. Okay. Now see for step one, that means for dividing this network into two halves, let us fix the first bit of host ID. Okay. Suppose we are fixing this first bit. 
होस्ट आईडी कैन बी एनी थिंग ओके आई एम सेइंग दैट इफ फर्स्ट बेट इज जीरो लाइक दिस देन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस हाफ ओके इफ फर्स्ट बेट इज वन देन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दैट हाफ दैट मींस फॉर बोथ ऑफ दीस फर्स्ट बेट विल बी फिक्स्ड टू वन लाइक दिस ओके नाउ इफ यू सी दैट दिस बेट इज जीरो यू कैन इजीली गेट टू नो दैट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस सबनेट बट इफ दिस बेट इज वन we cannot distinguish that is it this subnet or this subnet you can be sure that it is one of these subnets only but which one we are not sure for that purpose i am saying fix one more bit that means this bit also if it is zero then it is this uh, this subnet if it is one then it is this subnet okay that means if this bit is zero you are not going to analyze any more bits for determining the network so host id will be of 11 bits okay 11 bit host id but if this bit is one then we are going to analyze one more bit to determine which network it is so host id is of host id is of 10 bits only now okay here also it is 10 bits now let us see what will be the address of this network this network and this network for finding out address we need to know the first ip in that block so let us see all of the ip addresses can be listed by just changing the value of host id bits so let us write the all possible values for host id bits now see these are all the values that host id bits can take from all zeros to all ones okay now you very well know that first ip address is selected as the address of the network so this will be the first ip address and this address this ip address has to act the act as the network address okay so what is this first ip address it is 245.248.1000000000 followed by all zeros in last octet also so i'm just writing this network address it is 245.248 dot this octet it is 128 okay see one followed by seven zeros 128 dot all zeros means zero slash how many bits are there in network id already we had 20 bits in network id now we are fixing this bit also okay so for this subnet network id is now of 20 plus 1 21 bits like this okay let us analyze this one also it will be 245.248.c we want to find network address of this subnet it will be the first ip address in this block first ip address means network id bits are as it is but in host id you place all zeros see you don't need to list all of the ip addresses to find first one first one simply means all host id bits are zeros so just place zeros here like this okay so this is the first ip address of this network what is it 245.248.1 this means 2 raised to the power 7 that is 128 plus 8 right so sorry 765432 raised to the power 3 is 8 yeah that is correct so it is 128 plus 8 that is 136 like this dot all zeros means 0 slash it will be 22 why 22 because already 20 bits were in host uh, network id now we have fixed this bit as well as this bit two more bits okay to identify this bit uh, this network you require 20 bits surely then these two bits these two additional bits are also required to uniquely identify this subnet that is a total of 22 bits similarly here also it will be slash 22 only okay let us just find its address 245.248 dot see all of these bits are zeros i am not writing it you just uh, analyze it It will be one twenty eight plus eight. That is one thirty six plus four. That is one forty. Okay, all both of these bits are zeros. 
dot all zeros means zero. Okay, so this is the address for this network. Now see, just have a look at all the options. You can see none of the options says that uh, organization A will have 245.248.128.0 slash 21 and organization B will be having any one of these. See first thing is any one of these two can be given to organization B and other one will be just be available with the ISP. Okay. But none of the options seems to be correct. So is all of this incorrect? No. Have a look. This question can have two correct answers. This is also correct, but it is not present in the options. Options contain the other answer. Till now, whatever I have taught you is completely correct. That means step one is divided it into two parts. Then one will be given to A. Other one is again divided into two parts. So for this side, we will fix one bit. For that side, we have to fix two bits. All of that is correct. But except for one thing. I'm saying we need to fix one bit. We just assumed that its value will be zero. Okay. Some other person might think that the value of this bit can be one for this half. Okay. So now let us say the value of first bit that we are fixing this bit, it will be one for A and it will be zero for that side. Okay. So that bit is going to be zero. Earlier we said that value of this bit is going to be one. Okay. For that side. Now we are saying it is zero. Okay. So this bit now is one for A. If this bit is one, we can just say that 11 bits are in host ID and we are talking about network A. Okay. But if this bit is zero, that means if you get a zero here, then you can just fix that we are talking about that half. That means either this subnet or this subnet. But which one exactly? We need to analyze one more bit. That means if this is zero, you will just analyze this one also. If next one is also zero, then it is this one. If next one is one, like this. If next bit is one, then we are talking about this subnet. Okay. Now just find the network IDs. It's exactly same as we did it earlier. So 245.248.128 plus 8. This is 136. So I'm just changing it here. Now in the other answer, network address for this subnet will be this one. See, slash 21 will remain same. No change will be made in it because have a look. Still 11 bits are there in host ID only. Still 21 bits are only used for network ID part. Okay. So don't change these. Okay. And uh, here you can see it as 128 only. Except for this bit. Starting from here we have all zeros. That means 128.0. Like this. Okay. And this one is 128 plus 4. That is 132. Okay. Like this. 132. this octet will anyways be zero. Okay. So let us see which one is the correct answer here. Option A says 245.248.136.0 slash 21 is given to organization A. 245, 248, 136 slash 0. Sorry, dot 0 slash 21 is given to A. Okay. This is correct. Option A also says that 245, 248, dot 128.0 dot slash 22 is given to B. Yeah, this is correct. That means answer is option A. Okay. So answer to this question is A part. Anyways, whatever we saw earlier is correct, but it is not present in the options. Also one more point. If any option says that this is given to organization A and this is given to organization B, that will also be correct. Okay. Question says we just want to give one fourth of the addresses to B. It does not specify this one or this one. Okay. Any one fourth or any quarter can be given to B. So this one or this one doesn't matter. Anyone can be correct. Okay. So answer to this question is A part. I hope you have understood the entire question and I hope you have a very good day ahead. Okay.